Hello, how's everybody doing today? Really excited about this video. I'm going to talk about sequential voltage source model 245. This is an R version, so this is a clone. This is originally from the Buchla 200 series. Uh, I made this module maybe 2017, so this is one of the ones that I built. Really like this one. In this module, you will see there are uh, a couple features. The one we'll notice is there's a pulser section, which is actually uh, a triangle output or a saw output and a square output. Uh, the pulse length, you know how uh, wide the pulse is, and then the internal time of this module. There's also a start and a stop of that actual voltage. Right. And uh, <clears throat> how could we how could we prove this, right? So let's take a look on the scope really quickly. So I'm gonna say banana out to an adapter. And then I'm gonna adapt this to the scope. And I don't know if this is a good scope to judge this off of, like I'm not hundred percent sure. But once that module starts running, yeah. As I say, it's like a saw. It looks like a saw. And then this one would be the pulse output. And if I change the setting on the scope, because it's a probably pretty high voltage, that's why we don't see it. But the width of that is this. Yeah. And see, I don't think my this card's DC coupled, so... Honestly, I think the scope I have in VC is a bad example, but anyway, I just wanted to talk about this section of the module and what's going on in that section, right? And so now we're going to look at a patch I've made, super simple. Um, I basically ran like a folded wave through a 285 that's turned off. sound to use right and now what we're gonna look at is we're gonna take one of our shorting bars we're gonna connect this module to the main module right and inside of this one you have advance so that's what makes the sequencer go forward right um, and that's speed right you have this gate outputs per each step <clears throat> And you get two of them. You get two voltages out for each row. So you get a row of five stages and the voltage for the output. Row, voltage for the output. Row, voltage for the output. Row, voltage for the output. So pretty straightforward. Down here, you can shorten the sequence. Now it's like three step, or two step, or three step on the other side. And if I stop it here, it gets stuck. So it can stick the sequencer in spots. I don't have a switch in this video, so I'm not going to show you how to switch around. This is just a very basic, basic function of this module. So, again, here we go. We got our sound back. We're looking at the extra reference output because I want the voltage to the sequencer and I want a voltage to my envelope generator. Now on every step, Now triggering the envelope and then this is going to go to the voltage of the oscillator and then basically yeah you can take other voltages and apply them to different things. Let's say we did it to the balance modulator. Right. 
Now we're not just moving the pitch, we're moving the balance modulator's frequency as well. Super quick example, like I said, wanted the video to be fairly short, but what we looked at were the basic functions of the 245R in this edition, but it's a 245 sequential voltage source module, it has a pulser built into it as well, and again, it's just to clarify what happens when you use this sequencer in the 4U format. Thanks for tuning in.